When did you get married? Uh, 1989. 1999. 89. Oh, 89. Wow, you've been married a long time. A long time. Where yeah. was your wedding? You remember? Marblehead, Massachusetts. Oh, how beautiful. Marblehead. Uh, beautiful. Well, it is better wedding time, and it's all about the groom this time. It's true. The bride takes so much time making sure she looks perfect on the big day. Well, it's just as important for the guys to look their best. Right, Our bet. Oh. No, go. <laughs> Our better buddy, Melissa Cole, visited formals by Antonio in Rocky Hill, and she shows us the latest trends in tuxedos. This place is great. Hi, everybody. We're here at Formals by Antonio right on the Silestine Highway in Rocky Hill. It's prom season. It's wedding season. Tony, a lot of people looking for tuxes out there. What are some of the trends we're seeing right now? Sure. I mean, a lot of the things that they're doing nowadays is to match the girls' dresses. Mm -hmm. um, you know, so whatever color the bridesmaid dresses are, that's the accessories that the bridal party is wearing. You know, the tuxedos, if the bride has a very formal wedding gown that has a long train, the guys are wearing more uh, formal tuxedos in black. Um, and then if they have a destination wedding, uh, they'll do the tan suits or a navy Something jacket. More casual. Exactly. There are hundreds of styles to choose from. Formal by Antonio stocks the store every season with all of the latest styles. So you can be sure what you're getting is right on trend. Well, we have a lot of handsome models today. Let's start out with Sal. Tell us what he's wearing today. Well, today, uh, today Sal is wearing the Joseph Abood. This is a super 120 Laura Piana wool. Uh, it's a very soft, you know, luxurious fabric. Sal's wearing an ivory shirt and vest because a lot of the wedding gowns are not pure white. Mm -hmm. um, so like that you know, ecru or off white a little exactly. bit. Exactly. You know, if, if the wedding gown is silk, they can't take a natural fabric like silk and make it pure white. So what we did is we had custom shirts made for the store that match all the wedding gowns. And check out the custom French cuffs and cufflinks, making the look even more special. So is that really what we're seeing now, vests and ties, as opposed to like, I remember when I got married, it was more of like a cummerbund and bow tie look. Right, they're not showing the cummerbund and bow tie look. I mean, we still have grooms that do do that, uh, but right now they're usually wearing the vest and tie, and all the vests are full back. This look is for a more formal wedding. All right, next up we have Jason and Steve. Tell us what they're wearing. They're both actually wearing Calvin Klein tuxedos. Uh, they're super 100 fabrics. Um, Jason's tuxedo has a notch lapel, satin trim. The, the notch is the little piece that's missing in the lapel. Okay. And if you look at Steve over here, Steve has the peak lapel, and that's the one with the point that aims toward the shoulder. Oh, all right. Okay, so they're very similar, but they're different. Uh, Steve's coat, if you look at it, is a much more fitted look. Uh, it has what's called a bees and pocket, and then Jason has the flop pocket. Um, if you look at it, Steve's jacket's cut a little bit shorter. That's the new look of more European cut. And uh, Jason's tuxedo is a more standard length. It's a 31-inch coat. So that one's a little more traditional, and this one's maybe a little more modern. Exactly. And they're both two-button uh, tuxedos, but they're a little more fashion-forward with the satin trim lapel. You could get flat front pants for a more modern look or traditional pleated ones. And the vests and ties come in hundreds of colors, so you can be sure to match the bridesmaids or your prom date. And if the ladies have a little extra fabric from their dress alterations, Formos by Antonio can make pocket squares out of it. All right, Sal is in a different look now. And Tony, this one is brand new for 2010? Yep, it just arrived a week ago. Uh, this is the black Parisian. It's a tone-on-tone -tone pinstripe. Um, which is real popular. So if the groom wants something a little different, but something that's not, you know, doesn't show up on photographs, uh, it's just a soft tone on tone. And notice the silver vest and tie. This matches many of the current bridal gowns that have a lot of crystals and sparkle. Jason and Steve are back with a destination wedding look. I love the tan one. Isn't it great? It's a very lightweight. The pants are cut very full, more for that beachy outdoor, you know, summery wedding, garden wedding. Uh, very popular. We also have, you know, the same thing, but it's a, a navy jacket with a tan pant. Brown shoes keep the look more casual. Great. I love it. And how long do they need if they're coming in to book their wedding or for the prom? You know, for weddings, usually the guys come in at least three months before, just so you give time for the bridal party to get measured. Uh, but we can do it in a much shorter amount of time than that. You know, and then the proms, they usually come in a couple weeks before. They always wait a little longer. Great. Well, thanks so much. Oh, thank you. You guys look great. Thank you, Jason.